I'm Sister Knight and I'm from Cache Valley, Utah and I've been called to serve in the Oakland, San Francisco, California mission. My name is Elder Brindley. I'm from Katy, Texas and I've been called to serve in the Taiwan Taichung mission. I'm Sister Basco. I'm from Lebanon, Maine and I have been called to serve in the Taiwan Taichung mission. My name is Elder Ensign. Um, I'm from Cache Valley, Utah and I've been called to serve in the Taiwan Taichung mission. These four missionaries are like thousands of other Mormon missionaries who have one common goal, to take the message of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints to the world. But before they do so, they take time to physically, mentally, and spiritually prepare themselves for missionary service at missionary training centers around the world. When we get up at 6.30 in the morning, I just use a half, the half hour I have before, before study time to really get ready for the day. Yeah. At 7 o'clock we have our personal study time. We learn about church material. We use all of our many resources. My favorite thing is how quiet the room is. And I love that in that quiet moment, you can kind of listen to your heart. When I'm reading my scriptures, I have other study materials that I also read. And that really helps because I get different insights from the scriptures and also from the other materials. Once each day, we get time for personal exercise. This is a very nice break to have from uh, the, the regimen of studying. It's a really nice change. I guess it helps me recharge my batteries for whatever we're going to do next afterwards. One day a week we have time to take care of our personal needs and get ready for the rest of the week. We email our family and we use computers and we email them home, let them know how we're doing and they email us back. I get able to know what's happened during their week, and then I get to share what's happened during my week. It's kind of like a teaching situation when I'm writing home. It's, I'm expressing my love for the church and what I believe to be true. In the classroom, missionaries learn how to speak foreign languages and also study the gospel of Jesus Christ. Basically, the majority of the time, they talk to us in our language. Learning the culture has really helped us to know how to connect with the people and to um, be able to know how to more effectively talk with them. And also, we become part of their culture, and that is something amazing. Here at the Missionary Training Center, we do mock teaching uh, exercises with people who will be hearing our message. A lot of times we end up, as a companionship, looking at each other and saying, this is, this is what they need right now, and this is where we're going to take the lesson. And I've really noticed that if you allow that, if you, if you come in with a plan prepared, but you allow some flexibility, some room to change based upon their needs, the lesson becomes a lot more effective. I think one big thing I've learned is that is how central our message is to Jesus Christ. Our whole purpose is to help bring others unto Christ, and I realize that I can't do that unless I myself am coming unto Christ. I have felt a validation in my heart that I am truly a representative of Jesus Christ and that I have a work to do, and I have felt that same thing for all of the missionaries here. What I've gained from the Missionary Training Center is to learn how to love everyone, and I have felt uh, Jesus Christ and God's love for me every day. This has helped me become a better person and it has made me so much more excited to be able to teach others and to help them know Jesus Christ. 